Yeah, Angela. Hi, Nathaniel. So, we started treatment in May 4th, 2015. Now is September 3rd, 2015. You came for the second program in Vancouver. So, can you share with us? After these two programs, four months of treatment with Chinese medicine, what's your progress with RP? Hola, soy Pierangela Marinucci de Caracas, Venezuela. Estoy muy contento. Eh, padezco de retinitis pigmentosa, aunque digo que ya no, ya estoy en el proceso de curación con el doctor Yu. Es la segunda vez que estoy en el Wall Street Clinic y los avances han sido impresionantes. La primera vez mejoré un poquito y ahora el, el avance ha sido gigante. He logrado ampliar mi visión periférica muchísimo. Eh, ahorita me asusto en las calles porque veo muchísimas imágenes borrosas, obviamente, pero ya aparecieron. Ha mejorado un poco mi, mi, mi nitidez visual eh, central. Y, y bueno, ahorita el problema es acostumbrarme a mi nueva condición. Es, eh, seguiré viniendo. Hay, es un tratamiento de que cada tres meses hay que estar. Pero ya me siento mucho más segura, me siento mucho más tranquila. Porque la retinitis pigmentosa paró. O sea, stop RP. Y eso es lo más importante, creo que es la batalla más grande que tenemos nosotros. Y ahorita vamos hacia la mejoría. Ahora vamos, ir, vamos a ir mejorando cada día más. Y como dice el doctor, son los primeros pasos. Parar RP, después mejorar la retinitis y luego man, eh, curarse completamente y luego mantenerla. Y a eso vamos, eh, estoy confiada, te invito a que vengas a la clínica. Esto es una esperanza que todos nosotros, los de retinitis pigmentosa, tenemos. Es la única esperanza que tenemos hasta ahorita. Es una medicina que no es la medicina tradicional, es la medicina china, es un protocolo específico para nosotros que funciona. Cree fervientemente en él y cree en ti porque ya lo estamos logrando. Gracias, Dr. Yu. Thank you, Dr. Yu. You're Thank welcome. you are all people that uh, work here in Wall Spring. Thank you. You're welcome. So, oh our <laughs> translator, English. Okay, hi. I am Shi's daughter. Mm. My English is not perfect, but I'm trying to translate, okay? Uh, my mom, when come here the first time, uh, uh, can see the... Um, and a half of the door is not a perfect vision oh. and she come another time and she can see two of the doors and a little bit more so i think that it's full advances because my uh, when sh uh, she and me go to the street she have a uh, uh, Yeah. Scared. Uh -huh, she half scared with the cars, and I said, "Mom, don't be scared. Uh, don't be scared because you stay with me, and the cars stay in the street, you know. Yeah. And it's good because you have um uh one treatment oh. for your your problem, and it's good to know this." So come here and the doctor you uh, help you to to um, bring you a better life mm -hmm. with your eyes. Yeah, she, when she started in May, her visual field is only 15 degrees left and right. Now she can see 120 degrees. Yes. So from 15 to 120 degrees. So you must see something you didn't see before after this kind of expansion with your visual field what's the difference what you can see now and you could not see before i have all different mm. now i can walk along in the street oh. she don't need my help oh. i can walk along a day no? 
Mm -hmm. At night, if I have light. Street light. Yes. Mm. But uh, a day can walk alone. I don't mm. need her help. <laughs> so that's... Going. I don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's going from dependent to independent. Yes, yes significant. I am independent. And yes. it's a big difference. Uh, you see a difference in her? It, of course, because uh, like one month ago, she needed my help to go in a supermarket or in the street.